Hey guys, so I recently made a video talking about a three month data analyst roadmap. If you haven't checked it out, I'll leave a link down below for you to check it out. But the first stage in this roadmap is the learning stage. And because of that, I wanted to share some books that helped me become a better data analyst. Book number one was Automate the Boring Stuff with Python. These books and resources helped me learn things like object-oriented programming, classes and data structures, web scraping with Python, and automation with Python. Overall, this book helped me understand how Python was used as a tool and how I can escalate my usage with Python from there. Once I had the foundation of Python down, I was able to expand and do my own projects. At the time, I didn't really have an idea of where to start in terms of projects, so I used the book as my resource. At the back, there are a bunch of sample projects and resources for me to use to help develop my Python skills. I found this to be super helpful because it implemented learning through application and I'm a big advocate for learning through application. The next book I recommend is How Charts Lie by Cairo. This book was my ultimate guide to data visualization. It explained the common misconception of charts and also how using the wrong charts can tweak or change the insights you want to give altogether. You'll learn how scaling, title, color, legends, and other visual components of your charts will help tell your story in a more intentful and meaningful manner. I recommend pairing this book with another book called Making Numbers Count by Chip Heath and Carla Starr. This book helped me understand how, when, and where to use numbers in our reports and charts. I found that these two books together helped me learn how to become a better storyteller and also how to retain my audience's attention. The fourth book I recommend is the book Weapons of Math Destruction by Kathy O'Neill. If you were to only read one book from the list, I recommend you read this one. The author was a Harvard graduate and was an exceptional individual in the field of data science and mathematics. However, throughout their career, they discovered the danger of these models. This eventually led them to leave the field of data and become an advocate of ethical usage of data and mathematical models. Some examples of the models she referenced in the book was predictive policing, credit scores, and standardized tests. Overall, she talks about how these models did more harm than good. This book will give you some context as to when building a model is necessary, and also help you understand that some things just don't need to be quantified. The fifth book I recommend is the book 100 Million Offers by Alex Ormosi. I've mentioned this book in some of my other videos, but the value it provides is just too good to pass on. Although this is a sales book, I think it gives us a lot of value and context on how to secure a job in any field. In fact, I used some of the skills listed in the book to secure some of my jobs and I found it incredibly useful. I was able to sell myself and structure my value in such a way that was lucrative and attractive to a lot of employers. This book also gave me some domain knowledge within the sales field, which could be helpful when dealing with sales data. I also wanted to throw in this last book as a bonus. The book is called Start With Why by Simon Sinek. The goal of the book is to change your perspective on situations and make your intent more meaningful. This book focuses on the golden circle rule and how most people think or tackle a problem. By the end, it'll hopefully change your perspective on situations and allow you to focus on the intent of why you do things rather than the other factors. As a data scientist, asking questions is one of the most important parts of my job, and asking the right questions is probably one of the most sought after skills in the field. By asking the right questions, you can save yourself more time, energy, and resources, and you can even form a more comprehensive and detailed analysis. If your goal is to provide value or make an impact, I would suggest you start by learning how to ask the right questions. I talk more about this on my blog and on my Twitter account. Feel free to check them out. I'll leave some links down below. My data journey so far has been pretty eye-opening, and I truly believe the books I mentioned in this video played a significant part in my success. I'll also leave a list of a couple other books I recommend down below for those of you who are interested. Not all the books I mentioned in this video have a direct link to data science or the tools used within the field, but I truly believe expanding your mind within and outside the field of data can benefit your work overall and increase your value in general. If this interests you, feel free to check out my newsletter and my Twitter account. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.